recording? Yeah, it's on. Okay. <laughs> we did that at the beginning of mine too. Yeah. Is it recording? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's recording. This is my friend Lucy. What's up? She also makes videos. Yeah, introduce yourself. I'm Lucy. I'm Lily's friend. Uh, we go to school together and I also make videos. What's your channel? My channel is Lucy Films. Go subscribe. She makes awesome videos. Yeah. Talk about small YouTuber. See, a lot of people, I'm not like Peter McKinnon. He got like over a million in nine months. That's crazy. I know. How? <laughs> I don't know. That's insane. I'm not one of those people who can get like a million in a year. But I love that you're not chasing numbers. You're just I'm not. You're literally just making videos because you love making videos. And I feel like yeah. that's such a forward way of thinking with it. Yeah. You know. I feel like if I really was like chasing numbers, I would do things that were less like videos that I care about. Yeah. Because a lot of my videos are just like me and Jake, my best friend Jake. Me and Jake doing like random stuff and like it's just like our adventures. It's just kind of like chronicling my life. Yeah. But like, I don't know. It's a personal video video diary. Yeah, it is. I don't know. It's like I don't I don't really care about that stuff, and so it's like I'll just make videos that I want to make. Good for you. We need more people like that. I'm uh, definitely like balancing between videos that I'm really really passionate about making, like crazy domino projects that I have that yeah. I want to do, and like also like playing the algorithm or like not really but like yeah. doing things that like you know like kids like watching like doing more tv shows with dominoes and things like that yeah and like those are things that i would probably do on my own anyway mm -hmm. but it's just like doing more of those and like making the tags right and stuff to play to it which like i hate that we have to do that as like a youtuber but i mean it's, like i feel you gotta like, balance it i feel like you have to do that because it's like it is actually your it's, job yeah. and, like you have a substantial following so it's like, I'd understand you having to do that. But, but like, it's also like what the viewers want. Yeah. And like something that I might would, I'd probably do it on my own too, but it's like, it's promoting me to do it even more just because of that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Which I mean, isn't a bad thing necessarily. I think yeah. it's when you start changing like how you act in front of the camera or you start changing yeah, the I, types of videos that you make yeah. just to like pander to people. Yeah. That's when it gets bad, but like, I agree. Playing to the algorithm, I don't think that that's really a problem. I think that's just someone doing their job. Yeah, because I mean, you kind of have to do that. Like, there's no yeah. real way around yeah. it if you're trying to, if YouTube's your job. But yeah, I get that. But with your yeah. vlog channel, my vlog channel is really, completely different. I was it's, really excited when you were like, yeah, I'm making a vlog channel. And I was like, finally, you've been talking about it for <laughs> so long. Yeah, it's been on my bucket list for like a year. Because, but I also feel like you do do a lot of sit down videos where you're talking about stuff. Yeah. But I feel like also, it, it would be a really cool space for you to just make like crazy experimental videos that have yes. nothing to do with dominoes. That's why I wanted to make this channel because like yeah. with dominoes I'm so restricted to just dominoes because like 90% of my viewers are literally just watching for the dominoes. Exactly. And then, like, like sometimes you're even like I gotta have less of me in the video more dominoes or like yeah, thumbnail okay. or okay. something. <laughs> Every time like I go into the retention and like analytics they'll see like this is the dominoes top link. Oh it's a very steady pace. Yeah. Oh it's me and outro. Oh oh back to dominoes. Oh up here and then it's really? like down right when I start talking damn because like a lot of my viewers also they they're not from America they don't speak yeah. English so that, like, makes, that makes, sense. makes sense too I feel like at least when I'm watching YouTube if I'm on my laptop mm -hmm. and I'm watching a video and I'll have it in full screen as soon as the person goes like all right that's the end of the video yeah you just like scroll down you right? start to like you start to you minimize the screen you'll look at yep. the comments like you start to zone yeah, out yeah when they even if there's like a minute of the video left you'll mm -hmm. start to zone out when they do that i don't necessarily I, think it's you. yeah it may just be like how people naturally watch videos when you start to hear the end you just yeah. start to like you move to the next out. thing i feel like a smart way to like approach that is like form it into the vlog itself like yeah. it doesn't seem like it's an outro it just seems like it's part of the video but it's still technically an outro yeah. So you like, you like trick them in a way, but not really. It's just part of the video and it doesn't yeah. sound like an outro. That, that would make more sense. Which I'm, I need to work on that. Yeah. Cause I never no, know I how to end a vlog. I'm always like, <laughs> hey, thanks that. for watching. I hope you enjoy blah, blah, blah. But nobody actually cares about that. And then, and then you're always at the end, like, I still need an outro. <laughs> no, that's my outro now. It is? That's just yeah, your outro? Yeah, that's literally my outro now. Okay. I didn't get yeah. that. Was that like implied? Or you just well, okay. That? The first two, like. I literally didn't have an outro, so I yeah, said yeah. that genuinely, and then people were like, hey, that should actually be your outro, like, oh, that's that actually really comments. funny. Yeah, I was like, you know what, you're right, that's so me, I'm gonna make it my outro. See, because <laughs> you played it off, like, the most recent vlogs I've seen, you, you say, like, I actually think you're like, oh wait, I need an outro, but like, you're just saying that. <laughs> yeah, I just say it. That's funny. I think it sticks, though. 
Yeah. I don't know, yeah. but like, I think your vlog channel has like so much potential to have like cool stuff on it. Oh, thanks. I'm yeah. definitely gonna try and post more. And I think like you do a lot of sit down vlogs where you're talking about stuff, but I love like some of your videos on your main channel where you like go out and like you're doing, you're vlogging events and stuff. Mm -hmm. Those have been really cool. Like I like those videos. Thank you. So you, you gotta like, which like one in particular? The streamies. Oh, the well, shorty award. Shorty yeah. awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my first like non domino video in so long. Yeah, that one was really interesting. And I mean, of course, it was a big event, so it was like more yeah. interesting. But like, even you just like taking it around and showing like you getting ready and then going to the awards and everything and like mm -hmm. traveling there and stuff. I thought it was interesting. So like, I yeah. feel like it would fit more in your vlog channel and it'd be like yeah, cool to have videos like that. And I mean, you're about to move houses. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. You need to vlog that. I know. There's so many things I need you to need vlog. A, you need a moving in vlog. You need uh, like a. I need a moving out of college vlog. I gotta do a dorm tour. It's literally on my list. It's in my agenda book right now to do one today. I know. Well, you gotta have me there. I'm your third uh, roommate. Yeah. I'll film it for you. <laughs> okay. I need to clean my room though. It's like real messy. You should have to film it before you pack. I know. You gotta do that today. Because tomorrow is like my last full day at college, which That's is crazy. crazy. That's actually literally crazy. crazy. And like, we're having a huge goodbye party. Uh, oh my God, it's gonna be so sad. Yeah, Lily's gonna cry, folks. Uh, I know. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. You will. I'm gonna cry. You'll cry. I'm we'll see cry. We'll see if I cry. I was like crying on the plane home. Really? Like, back from all, from New York City. Really? A little bit. I, <laughs> I, I always cry on plane rides. Yeah, I always get so nostalgic, like looking out the window and thinking about life. It sounds so dramatic. It does. You're like a teenager, like looking out the window. Like, I know. <laughs> and then you start crying, you're like listening to music. <laughs> you're like, but no, so dramatic. It's just because like, like, okay, when I'm on a plane. Are you serious? <laughs> so I was like, you do, what's that noise? <laughs> Someone's mowing their lawn. <laughs> yeah, but like when you're on a plane, it's like, you there's no Wi-Fi. There's no airplane mode. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. You can't use your phone. No electronics. So you're just like alone in the seat with your thoughts, looking out the window, and it just makes you think about everything. Or maybe that's just me. No, that's not just you. I definitely like. There's there's been like a few plane rides, and it's usually I feel like when I'm leaving home, coming back to school. But also there have been a few where it's like I'm leaving school, coming home, and it's like, I don't know if it's like happy tears, because like I'm always more happy to go home. But like, I've, I've definitely cried yeah. on some plane rides. I mean, I wasn't like crying a lot. It's just like, me neither. You don't like, want the person next like to you to be like, a single me. tear. Excuse me, ma'am, are you all right? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to miss college a lot. I'm definitely going to miss it. It's weird, like, being at school, like, away from home, it's just weird. I like, I haven't gotten homesick at all. It's, I don't know. I, I just like it here. It feels like I am home. It's like my second home. You know? That's good. I like travel so much to the point where like I don't see my family yeah. that often sometimes. What anyway? Like even when yeah. you were home? Even when I was home. Like I'd be in a studio from like ten AM to eight PM, come home for dinner. That's when yeah. I see my family. And then I repeat. Really? really? It's so okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I guess we were already not home that much. And I guess for me, home was always like more things than just like my actual house and my my immediate family. Yeah. It's just like my neighborhood, my whole like city. Yeah. And then obviously mean. like Jake. Right. And then yeah, like there were so many more people than just like my mom and my brother. And it was so much more than just my house in my specific at my specific address. It was like yeah. my whole neighborhood, my whole environment. Like when yeah. I'm home, is like what I like to be around. And it's like, when I was applying for schools, I was so sure I didn't want to be close to home. I like applied to barely, I, I applied to one in-state school. You want to stay home though. You want to be close. I feel like now I would, but like I totally made that mistake. Yeah. Because I felt like I was like, college can be my, my one main chance to like get away from home and like spend four years away, whatever. Yeah, home it's going to be cool. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't, I like totally ignored the aspect of myself. It's like, no, I want to be at home. Yeah. Which is a bad idea. Like I love my home, but I'm not attached to it. Yeah. in the way that you are like I'm okay with moving like my parents are selling the house in a year probably really and like yeah I'm obviously like sad about it because I've lived there like my entire life but like I'm ready to like move to a different environment see if my mom my mom if she even talks about moving or like selling our house I'm like stop <laughs> don't you dare. you're not doing it I know well I've moved like six times Dang. 
awkward. The camera Sorry. stopped recording. Yeah, I didn't see that it stopped recording. It didn't even yeah. tell me either. That's weird. Did it make a noise? No, it didn't. I think it might be on silent though. Lily was like freaking out. She was like, oh my god, did it not record? You think it was natural? I, I actually love Was that not recording? Lily and I was like, we literally joked about that in the beginning. We were like, a little check if it's recording like four times. Yeah, like I went to turn off the record button from here and it started recording again. I was like, oh my god. That would have been uh, so bad. Very chill vlog. We're just like outside. Camera's on a bench. We're sitting on petty boards. I'm still learning how to ride it. I'm a professional. No big she's, deal. She's teaching me. I, yeah. I rode to class one day. I was really proud of myself. I didn't fall. Take skills. <laughs> Take yeah. true skills. Well, thanks for being on my channel. You're welcome. We also filmed a video on her channel if you want yeah. to watch it. Because I talk about more of this stuff in like college and doing dominoes. College and doing dominoes versus YouTube. Yeah. Cliffhanger. Would da, da, da. Lily choose Domino's or YouTube? The world may never know. You gotta click <laughs> on my channel to find out. Yep. Lucy Films. And uh, yeah, go subscribe, please. And I need to think of a new outro. I said that really weird. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to think of an outro. I need to think of a new outro. <laughs> All right, so bye. <laughs>